Today, you're about to see some of the rarest Doberman colors in existence and what's said to be some of the most exotic colors of Doberman in the entire world. And at the end of this video, I'll reveal the method that these rare colored Doberman breeders actually use to create new colors of Doberman that have never been seen before. But are all these rare colored Dobermans really all what they seem to be? Well, you're about to find out and we're about to blow your mind right here on Doberman Planet. So we all know that the standard color of the Doberman, the one we think of when we think of a Doberman, is usually the black and rust colored dog. And there's also the red and rust colored Doberman, but did you know that besides these two standard colors, in America, and only in America, there are two additional Dobermans that are also considered standard colors for this breed, but are far more rare and less common. Now the first of these rare, but still official colors of Doberman is a blue colored Doberman. Now this dog is actually technically basically still a black and rust colored dog, but they have what's called a color dilution gene, which dilutes down the black pigment in their coat, causing this grayish or what some say a blue color to them. These are relatively rare dogs and the DPCA, the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, estimates only eight to 15% of all Dobermans are this blue color. Now these dogs still have their rust colored markings and they are more prone to certain skin and hair issues that other color of Dobermans don't need to deal with, such as uh, ingrown hairs or staph infections. They are also highly affected by a condition called CDA, color dilution alopecia. And according to the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, anywhere between 50 to 90% of these blue color Dobermans do have to deal with this condition at some point in their lives. And this causes things such as uh, bumpy red skin, dry itchy skin, hair loss, and that sort of thing. Now out of the four standard colors of Doberman, the absolute rarest one is the Fawn or Isabella color Doberman. Now we haven't gotten to these crazy exotic colors yet, but this is the rarest of the standard colors. And this dog is basically just a red and rust colored Doberman who also has a color dilution gene. So their coat turns into kind of this fawn color. It's a very interesting color. They're very rare. The Doberman Pinscher Club of America estimates that they only comprise about 6% of the entire Doberman population. Just like the blue Dobermans, these dogs also have their rust colored markings and they're also more prone to staph infections, ingrown hairs, and color dilution alopecia. They do seem to have a higher rate of allergies among these dogs and they have just naturally very thin coats so they are more prone to sunburns than many other uh, Doberman colors. Now we're getting into some of the really exciting colors of Doberman guys and it only gets better from here. We're on to the white colored Doberman. Now this dog is officially recognized by the DPCA as a true blue full-blooded Doberman. However, it is not part of the standard colors for the Doberman. These are technically kind of more of a, actually a partial albino. Some people refer to these as albino Dobermans, which is not correct because a true albino animal has no pigment in them whatsoever. These dogs do have a little bit of pigment. They have a cream colored coat. They have blue colored eyes. It's just an incredibly unique and rare color of Doberman. However, these white Dobermans are susceptible to some serious health conditions, including sunburns, vision issues, and tumors, and they're very often highly inbred. There's not a lot of these dogs out there, so breeders who want to produce white Dobermans have a very limited genetic pool to pick from. Uh, and these health issues really are why the white Doberman is a very controversial Doberman to own. Really quick, before we get into a couple more Doberman colors that are even more rare than what you've heard already on this list, I do want to take a second not only to ask you to subscribe and hit the bell icon because so that way you don't miss stuff because you're going to otherwise, but I also want to mention that in the description of this video down below, there's a ton of resources to help out existing Doberman owners. So if that's you, if you have a Doberman currently, take a look down in the description down below. There's a lot of shopping guides and other things that'll help you out. Plus on my website, DobermanPlanet.com, which is also linked to in the description below, you'll find a ton of free resources for you. Feeding guides, training guides, help with very common Doberman issues. These are all things specifically dialed in for Dobermans themselves. Not for any dog breed out there or just even working dogs in general, but actually Doberman specific help, which is gonna be the most valuable for you if you have a Doberman. Or if you're considering getting a Doberman, check that out as well. There's some stuff to help new owners also. But let's jump straight into the next 
ultra rare color of Doberman, and this is a big one. And that is the melanistic Doberman. Now, melanistic is a term that basically means an increase in the black pigment in the dog. Now, this is a dog that is missing those rust colored markings or tan colored markings that we're used to with a Doberman. And most of the time when someone says a melanistic Doberman, they're referring to an all black Doberman. And these are actually really impressive looking dogs, but they are not recognized by the DPCA as an actual Doberman color. Now, some people will use the term melanistic to also refer to other colors such as a solid red colored Doberman, a solid blue colored Doberman, or a solid fawn colored Doberman. Now, a lot of people argue whether or not that term is accurate here, but the point is to know what they're referring to. Usually when they say melanistic, it's an all black Doberman, but sometimes it's other colors that are solid with no rust colored markings. One interesting thing here, guys, is if you get those all black melanistic Dobermans in the sunlight, you'll almost always see the rust colored markings still there because they have to have those if they're a purebred Doberman. If they have absolutely no rust colored markings on them whatsoever and they're a solid color, it's genetically impossible for them to be a purebred Doberman. The biggest issue to know about these melanistic Dobermans is one, they're very often highly inbred, and two, they're very often a mixed breed dog and not a true purebred Doberman, even if the breeder has a genetic test to prove that they are purebred. We'll talk about how the breeders can trick these tests in a minute. Now we're on to the absolute rarest color of Doberman out there, and that is the clear red Doberman. Now this is a Doberman that has this unique kind of lighter color red type of coat, such as the one on your screen, and they have no tan markings on them at all. And these dogs are also, they're not recognized by the DPCA as a true Doberman, and honestly, it's for very good reason. And just like we already learned, if there's truly no tan colored markings on the dog, then it's a mixed breed. It's not capable of being a full purebred Doberman. And also this color of this dog, this very unique color, this is also something that genetically the purebred Doberman stock cannot produce. So this dog is going to be a mixed breed dog. Even if you are provided with a genetic test that shows that it's a purebred Doberman, those tests can be tricked. In fact, that brings us to the next section, which is how these rare Doberman breeders produce brand new colors of Doberman. How do they do that? How do you create a new color of Doberman that doesn't exist? Well, unfortunately, all these breeders of these rare color of Dobermans kind of seem to use the same formula. What they do is they take a Doberman and they breed it with a completely different breed of dog to get a color that the purebred Doberman is genetically incapable of producing. So they'll crossbreed this dog, making a mixed breed dog of the color they want. Sometimes there's some inbreeding that occurs, but then they breed this dog back with other Dobermans enough times, usually at least three generations, that now if you do a genetic test, as long as the last three generations this dog was bred with other Dobermans, it will trick most genetic tests to show that this is a purebreded Doberman. Again, in this case, you're not getting a purebred Doberman that's just this rare exotic color. You are in fact just getting a mixed breed dog that happens to be able to trick these genetic tests into saying that it's a full purebred Doberman. Unfortunately, there just seems to be kind of this never-ending quest by certain breeders, some of the less ethical breeders, to create these rare colors of Doberman and be able to advertise them as a rare color of Doberman when in fact they're mixed breeds just so they can get higher prices. And unfortunately, this is not only damaging the Doberman breed as a whole because now we're kind of clouding the breed, but this is also damaging to the dogs themselves as they're very often very unhealthy and heavily inbred dogs. So these unethical breeders might claim that these rare colors of Doberman are purebred Dobermans and even seem to have some sort of genetic test or documentation to back that up. And they might be preying on you as the uneducated Doberman buyer. But now you are educated and you know the truth about these colors of Doberman. So just remember, there are only four standard colors of Doberman out there, the black and rust, the red and rust, the blue and rust and the fawn and rust colored Doberman. There's also the white Doberman, but that one is not recognized as a standard color of Doberman. I hope this video has been interesting and insightful today, guys. Maybe you even learned something. If you enjoyed any part of this, please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it. I would really appreciate it. We are producing new videos every two weeks here at Doberman Planet, so make sure that bell icon and the notifications are turned on so you don't miss our next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, I will see you again in two weeks time. All right, keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. I'll see you then.